County toddlers recovering after getting run over by a car while a babysitter was supposed to be watching him. Now that babysitter is charged with abuse after initially lying to investigators. Our Ryan Raish spoke to the babysitter and is taking action now for you on how to find the right person to watch your kids. Through a translator on speakerphone, Angelica Gattaca Melendez admits when deputies first arrived, she made up a story about how an 18 month old boy she was babysitting got scrapes and bruises all over his body. Melendez initially claimed the toddler's sister pushed him to the ground, causing the injuries. The truth, it turns out, she says a friend ran over the boy with her car. We now know it broke his pelvic bone. I asked why she lied. She says she was scared of her, of her kids. She would lose her kids. Melendez now faces felony charges of abuse and child neglect. Child care advocates say the number one thing to remember is to do your research when you're looking for a babysitter. Don't just hire the first person you find to watch your children. Every parent needs to see that they feel confident in the person they're entrusting with their child's care. Aaron Pagan with the American Red Cross says one thing parents can do is look for a sitter who is trained. The Red Cross offers several training classes at different levels. That training says that you have done that through American Red Cross, and certainly that holds a lot of respect. Many will take it a step further. Care.com, a website to help parents find sitters, recommends thorough interviews. Check to make sure they know first aid and are trained in CPR. And don't forget to check references. In this case, Melendez tells us what happened was a horrible accident, one she deeply regrets. She said she feels really bad that she, she didn't know this was going to happen. She said it was an accident. In Polk County, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.